Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at space weather. We're likely to have geomagnetic storms this weekend, and the first sign of solar wind enhancement is visible this morning. We'll also see the comet and two stories in electromagnetic geoscience, but we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. We find that yesterday morning's pops were small and are likely to be swallowed by the coronal hole stream. It's going to begin arriving soon and last for a few days at least. NOAA has officially forecast level 1 or 2 solar storm conditions for the coming 48 hours, KP5 or 6, and this morning, the first aspect of the sequence is evident in the solar wind, blue panel, phi angle flip, beginning the geomagnetic unrest a few hours early. This often precedes coronal hole streams, so we are expecting that situation to be ramping up today. From the expanse of the coronal hole, it should be obvious that the enhancement of the plasma stream will last a few days. We may even have an interaction between the north and south components of it. From the flaring perspective, the departing sunspots on the right have made the flares so far, but are now turned to the limb. And the incoming hemisphere has several small but youthful and growing spots. Not a bad chance they'll get complex and start flaring today or tomorrow. Up first in other news, folks, this is Hubble's latest on the interstellar object. As it gets in closer than Jupiter's orbit, like most comets, it's getting excited. Sprouting a tail, growing its coma, the ways in which it is unusual are dwindling, looks like it's a comet, and nothing else. Excellent study here where they are forced to admit that the most significant aspect of understanding electron bombardment of the atmosphere is local magnetic field strength. It's a nice compliment to previous studies suggesting that the biggest forcing factor during a magnetic pole shift like the one we're in now is the extra particle energy intrusion. Makes our imminent future look a bit scary. And the other top story hits magnetic microbes in the deep sea. Far more vast and connected and critical for the food chain and animal kingdom balance than any of the scientists have imagined. They are an essential cog in the marine environment and they are quite susceptible at the sea floor where geomagnetically induced currents are some of the strongest they can be found anywhere. It's also a bit foreboding given the current weakening of Earth's magnetic field. Tomorrow is the Prepper event at Observer Ranch, going to be a heck of a day. We have lots of other significant events the rest of the year as well. Pole shift conferences, Founders Weekend, and much more. Check out the event list and book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got eyes on space weather, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.